Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar and tour of TechSoup.org. We are excited to share how your nonprofit can get access to TechSoup's donations, discounts, and additional resources. And so I am your host, Lashika Phillips, and I am an Associate Program Manager for a program here called NGO Source. Uh, what I do is I help U.S. grant makers streamline their international philanthropy. Uh, when I'm not helping out with the NGO Source team, I assist the marketing team with managing webinars. So today I have joining me Daphne Lagio. She is an account management specialist here at TechSoup. And assisting with chat, you may have seen a message from SEMA already, she is the online producer for all of the webinars here at TechSoup. So you are in company with great people, and we know that we are as well. And so before we get started, I want to make sure that everyone is comfortable using ReadyTalk. This may be your first time, and this is the platform that we use for our webinars. So I want to let you know that every caller and call is muted. So if you have questions, simply use the chat box that's in the bottom left-hand uh, corner of your screen. And if for some reason you lose your Internet connection, feel free to use the same link that you used to join uh, with us right now. Also, uh, for upcoming webinars, you can go to TechSoup.org and click on Resources and then Webinars so that you can see all of our upcoming webinars. And just so you know, once this is complete, you will receive an email with today's presentation, uh, the recording, and there is a, a handout, which I hope you received in the reminder email, but that will be emailed to you as well. If you are social, we would love for you to connect with us uh, on Twitter, use um, at TechSoup, or hashtag TSWebinars. So for some of you who are new to TechSoup, and, and this is your first time joining us, again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, our mission is to build a dynamic bridge that enables social change agents like you um, to gain effective access to all of the resources that you need to create solutions for good. And we provide and facilitate donation programs in all of the blue areas that on the map before you. And so that is well over 230 countries and territories, and we're helping over a million organizations. We are doing all of that outside of our San Francisco office, and we want to know where you're joining from. So now is actually a great time to try out our chat box and let us know where you are joining from. Where is your nonprofit? Now I want to mention, as people are sharing where they are joining from, you will not be able to see their locations, but I will share. That's our way of keeping, keeping you all and keeping us engaged. And you all are joining from all over the place. I see Florida, New York, Lebanon, I see Pittsburgh, and Alexandria. This is amazing. Thank you so much. We know that you could be doing so many other things uh, for your nonprofit, but you chose to be here. And uh, so today we want to we want to show you TechSoup and how to get all of our donations and, and products. And so as you know that um, – your nonprofit can access all of these donation programs from our website. And we're going to be talking more about that. Daphne is going to join us in just a second. And we will have time for Q&A, but feel free to ask questions throughout the webinar. We will be taking your questions. So without further ado, I want to turn it over to Daphne, who is going to demo um, how to access these uh, programs and where do you go on the website to find uh, the different resources that you need and what do certain admin fees mean and why this and so Daphne is going to lead us and uh, take it away. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Lashika and Zina, for, for inviting me here today. I, you know, I'm very lucky where I have the um, 
opportunity to uh, to speak to members individually on the phone. I work in the call center, but it's wonderful to be able to reach out to um, a larger group. Um, and so my goal here today um, will be uh, a couple things. One of them is I just wanted to walk you through the catalog, how to find what you're looking for, how to find the information that you need on our website, so then you can kind of self-serve. If, if you're doing this uh, Saturday night at 10 o'clock at night after dinner, then you can find all the information you, you need um, on the website. So I'll be talking a little bit about software, which is uh, what I think we're, we're post, probably most famous for. And then I'll talk about some of the hardware options. And then we'll talk about some of the services we provide to help um, organizations like yours uh, use the technology and, and like best incorporate it into your, um, into your, your work. So, um, just starting out with our, our web page, um, uh, you know, we have the product catalog link at the very top of the page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our new products. Uh, it is called Zoner, and it is a photo editing document. I'm just going to use that as an example as we kind of walk through. So different ways to search in our product catalog. Uh, you can do it by donor or company. Um, which will bring up the entire list of our donors, or you could do it by ca category. I'm actually going to show the category first. So if you're a nonprofit and you know that we really need help with donor and grants management, this is where you would go, and it would, it would contain all those donor products within that category. So this can be a really good way to help you kind of plan out uh, what you need. Then for each one of our donors, we do have um, individual um, uh, donor pages. Uh, we would be going all the way down um, to the bottom to Zoner and click on the link. And Zoner is one of our newer products that we are, we are very excited about. Um, and while this opens up, oh, okay, good, it's open. So this, this brings you to the Zoner donation program. For each one of our donors, we do have this page, which will include the donations on the left, and also there will be a Details tab. This is where you can get general information about the product and about this donor program. So when you go to this one, you see, okay, we have Details. This one is an image editing software. Um, you will have information about the eligibility and restrictions. And you will see organizations may receive an unlimited number of products. So you have that that information there in the details. Now let's say you already know that yes, this is what you want. You would go, um, you'll see this little uh, th uh, thumbnail will give you the name, the product number, and the admin fee. I'm just going to hover over it and click on the View Details to bring this up. Now we really try to put as much information on this product page. That's a, how we refer to each one of these. Um, in our, in, our on, in our online catalog. Um, and so I just wanted to point out what kind of information is here. Each one of our product pages is the same. So you'll kind of get used to, okay, this is where I look for this. This is where I look for this. So you'll see what this is. This is a, um, a one-year subscription. Uh, on this page it will give you that the, the platform is for Windows. Uh, format. Download all of our software will be digital um, digital download. You also have the product ID number. You'll see yes, it's available. Um, now the admin fee. This tends to be a, a question that comes up um, um, quite often. Um, and what this is is this is just going to be the cost of the product. Um, these are all donated products um, thanks to the generosity of our donor partners. The admin fee is what TechSoup charges to be able to continue managing and facilitating their donation programs. Um, we're a nonprofit ourselves. Uh, we need to keep the lights on and the dog's head, so that's why we, we do have an administrative fee. Um, but of course we try to keep it as low as possible to make these um, products as accessible as possible. Going down a little bit more, uh, you will have a description. So then you can read a little bit more about what this product will do, and if it's something that meets your needs. The middle tab here brings you to the subscription details. 
Um, since this is a subscription, this will give the information like, okay, what happens after this year? And then you see, okay, you may renew your subscription by requesting another product through TechSoup each year. Um, so that will give you information about, about that. And then over here are the rules, eligibility, and restrictions. Um, and it will give you information about um, which, um, which uh, organizations are able to receive donations. Now, there is, now the, just, to, just to clarify, so all of you folks are 501c3 nonprofits. Um, that's what you need to be to be members of TechSoup. But then our donors then make decisions about who they want to be donating um, particularly to. And so that's where you'll sometimes come up with um, that you'll find that, oh, but this product isn't, isn't available for my organization. We do try to find – our donor partners have lots of different eligibility rules, and we always try to find something for someone. So, um, and that's something that um, if you run up against, you can always give us a call at customer service, and we can kind of walk you through that process to see if there is something there that, um, that you could use. Um, so this is just an example of our software. We have many, many, many different options. So it's, you know, I encourage you um, just to kind of play around with our site and see what we have in terms of that. Um, now although we are probably best known for software, we do offer um, great deals on hardware. And so I'm going to start out by – I'm just going to go to this here. This is our refurbished computer initiative. You could also find it by – there's a hardware link at the top of the page. What we do here is we work with a number of different refurbishers. These are computers that are donated um, from the corporate, corporate world to them. They make sure everything is copacetic, up and running, and they provide them at discounted prices um, through TechSoup to you. So this can be a really great way when you are – uh, needing – you might be opening up a new branch, or you're needing some hardware, this is where you would go. Now each one of these um, – once again, I'm just going to open up this one just to kind of give you a little eyeball of this. Once again, just like that Zoner page that we looked at, this product page will give you all the information you need. Platform, Windows the administrative fee, and so that is an all-in fee. Shipping is included. You go down, you get like the specifications and the description, um, and then it will go all the way down to the bottom with information about obtaining this, this product. Um, so uh, this is – we're very excited to work with these refurbishers. They do really great work. These are computers that would be going into the landfill, but they aren't. They're being uh, refurbished and then being uh, used by, by, non by nonprofits like yourselves. Um, if you are more interested in, uh, in new hardware, uh, this is a, uh, one of our newer programs. It's Lenovo Discount Program. And what this is, is this is an affinity program. And I'm just going to pop this open really quick. And what this is, is you pay uh, – the organization pays a, a, a small fee, and then you have access to discounted rates. So this one, administrative fee, $10, and this provides you – it's a one-year membership. And for that one-year membership, we scroll down, and it gives you access to um, discounted product catalog. Um, and so down here it shows that, okay, you can save up to 25% on Lenovo products. We also have a Dell program, um, a Dell Affinity program, a similar, very generous. This can be a way for your nonprofit to then be able to, um, to kind of beef up what you need in terms of, of your hardware um, since, uh, and to take care of that. Now I do want to um, – we do also get many, many – I'm just going to actually kind of stay on this page. Um, so we do know that technology is hard. And so you come here, you get your discounted software, you get this, your discounted hardware, but then most nonprofits, um, we, we don't have the access to a, um, an in-house tech team. And so then what we are able to do 
is, um, is, and what we've been working on is developing services to help you best utilize and make decisions about your technology. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that now. Um, and let me just go back to here. And I'm just going to And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to – okay. So this is, this is a fairly new program for us. Um, so we have more and more organizations that are moving to the cloud, Office 365, Azure, um, and it's confusing. It's, it's a hard thing to do. Um, so what we've actually developed is a special team here that can, that can help your organization make the decisions that you need and kind of walk you through this entire process. Um, so if you go to any of our kind of Office 365 or Business 365 product pages, it will lead you to this intake form. And what you're going to do with this form is you get, to, you get to select what information you are most interested in getting. Um, and you get to fill out some information about your um, – about um, your organization, and that what happens is we have someone, um, uh, you know, we have one of our trained folks give you a call, reach out to you, and work with you to be able to, to best, um, to to best uh, figure out how to get into your your cloud services. Okay, and then so this is one of our newest uh, services. We are very very excited about this. Um, and then next we are going to talk about some other services we have. So, and this came out of this came out of a question, questions from our members where they wanted information about how can we use the technology? We need help being able to do this. So that's where this came up. And so this We'll give you some information on the left-hand side. You see that we have a, a program. It's a managed IT. This is a comprehensive uh, program where you can uh, you can set up a um, set up some tech support for your organization. They can help you with planning, with implementation, with what you need, and that means that you can stay focused on the mission and not have to worry so much about technology. We also have Help Desk. And now how many of us have been stumped by a printer or just something with a hardware that just isn't working? This is where the Help Desk can come, in, come into play. This is um, it's a way you can reach out to us. You can get help for kind of just one-off issues. Um, and you can, uh, we will get – it's the same kind of intake form. We get back to you as soon as we can and solve your problem. Um, so then you can continue doing the work that you need to, to do. The third one over is Consultant Connection, and this is another one that we're very excited about in terms of, of building community. Uh, we know that there are many, many uh, consultants in the community who are more than willing to help with, um, with nonprofits. And so what this is, is this is going to be a database that you can search. And you can search by location. You can search by your organization type. You can search by what you need. Um, and then you can uh, – what it provides you with is a list of, of um, consultants that have been vetted. And then um, you will be able to reach out to and connect with them directly um, and get, and get you know, the support that you need. Um, you know, besides software and, har and hardware, um, one of the things we're all about here at TechSoup is building community. And this is one of the ways that we've been trying to do this. And then finally, um, the last thing I want to say is for – um, you know, for all of your DIYers out there, we do offer lots and lots of resources that will empower you to be able to make decisions and use and implement the software. So at this point, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, hand this over to Lashika, who can share a little bit more about some of these like, wonderful learning opportunities through TechSoup. Thank you so much, 
Daphne. So as you can see, that TechSoup is not just the affordable software company. Uh, we want you to rely on us also for the training that you need to be able to use the different software and programs that we offer. Um, we have, so as you can see, I, I'm looking at the slide here before you, e-learning, that is just another uh, another way that TechSoup is showing that we care and we want our nonprofits to be in the know um, about how to use certain products and how to use certain technology. So the TechSoup courses is a learning management platform where we work with nonprofits and library experts to provide online and on-demand educational content. Um, so we offer short videos, there are some quizzes, and uh, self-assessment, downloadable checklists, activities, certifications, and more. And so despite what you may uh, think or have heard, because I did talk to some nonprofits and they were under the impression that the e-learning courses, um, that they're fee-based. And I actually spoke with the manager of that department, and that is not true. If you go to the website now, and we'll put the link up in just a few, you will see that majority of those e-learning courses are free. Okay, I'll repeat that. Most of the e-learning courses are free. And so we'll put the link up. You can go and check out what is already available. And I found out that they are putting up courses every single month. So you want to check that out. Um, I do want to mention that if you sign up, uh, when you sign up for an e-learning course, you have to create a username and a password. So when you see that prompt, please know that that is not the prompt for you to use the TechSoup login that you use to get your products and donations. This is a completely different platform, so you would have to generate a new username um, and a new password. So I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of that. So here's some more information about uh, the TechSoup courses. Um, here's the link for you, uh, and here's a list of some of those uh, courses that are available right now. And um, as I mentioned, they are adding courses uh, every single month. So be sure to bookmark that link and check out what's available. And uh, other resources that are available that I want to show you are our articles and how-tos. So I'm going to share my screen for a moment. So here is the um, TechSoup homepage. And if you see at the very top of the website with this toolbar here, this resource section. So if you click down, here are our articles and how-to section. So to search for articles, again, you click here, and then you can browse the category here at this section. So if you click here, here are all of the categories that you have. So for instance, I know that tis the season for year end. Is that not right? A lot of nonprofits are closing their books, coming up really soon. And so you or someone on your team may need some help with those accounting details. Well, guess what? You can go right here and search under accounting. If you click here, Give it a minute to load, and here you are. Here are all of the um, articles and how-tos. And so if you click on one of the entries, you'll see um, all of the content. What is so great about our articles uh, and our how-to section is that there are always um, there's always additional information and related resources. So as you can see here with this, uh, how to is for QuickBooks. So you have the option here to get QuickBooks, even more tips, even more links. So this is the articles and how to section. Another section I want to highlight, another really, really helpful resource are our blogs. So you can find that at the same, the same page. 
And just like the articles and how to, and just like how Daphne showed how to search for products, you can see here are our list of topics. And so let's, let's look at accounting again. Like I said, tis the season for year end, right? So here is our blog. And again, you search the topics the same way. You can click on, let's see, let's click on this entry here. And look at this. It, it tells you who our writer is. It tells you when this content was created. As you can see, it's very relevant. We always keep uh, new information here readily available for all of our nonprofits. And because we understand that your time is very valuable and important, we've also included that this is just a three-minute read here. So you can read this uh, blog. And then again, there are additional links and resources as you go through. Um, as you go through the, the content, and even down below. And you'll see this on every page of our, of our website. There is always going to be related content below related to the information that you were just uh, reading or, um, and obtaining. Okay. So I'm going to pause here to see if we have any questions. I'm sure we do, and definitely excited to uh, to see how else we can how else we can help. So I'm going to bring uh, Daphne is back on. Um, yep, I'm here. Great. So let's okay. see. We have some questions. Oh, so one question I see here is, can you show us where the QuickBooks? Sure, we can show you mm -hmm. where the QuickBooks page is. I'm going to see. I'll share my screen. Okay. So again, if we wanted to, well, I'm going to show you something else. So if you are at the home page, that's where we are here. This is, this is the home page. And instead of going to these different tabs, another thing you can do is this little magnifying glass here. If you click there, a search box appears, and you can type in uh, whatever information you are looking for. So in this case, let's look for QuickBooks. And so that's what we've searched, and it is generating our results, and voila, here we go. And so not only is it showing me the products, but then if I scroll down, related pages, how to use your Intuit donation, and other, it's just so much, so much more information here. And then also related products. Okay, so I hope that, that answers your question. And if you click here again, as Daphne showed us, uh, more information about the, uh, about the products here. Okay, that great question. I <laughs> can't say it enough. Uh, Tis the season, right? Uh, so let me go back, and let's see what other questions we have. Let's see. Okay, oh, okay, great question. Uh, someone is asking about the changes that uh, from Microsoft, and that is an excellent question. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of our VPs uh, did a great webinar on Friday, this past Friday, about all of those changes, what that means for you. And um, we will have that link available if not today, probably tomorrow, but it will be posted on our website. I believe SEMA has posted that link. So we're just finalizing it, and we're going to have it live and post it, um, have it ready for you uh, shortly. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Daphne, this question. So someone is asking, do, mm -hmm. we, offer, do we offer Apple products? Oh, good question. So currently, no, we do not have um, Apple products as part of our, our catalog. Um, I know it's something that, that we've, we've talked about, um, but currently we don't. We very, very rarely will have MacBooks. And so one thing to think about is on, um, when you uh, register for TechSoup, you have an option to sign up for our new product 
alerts. Um, that can be a really good way of, of keeping it, being kept informed of what, um, of what new products come into play. But currently we don't have any Apple products. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so this is a great question. And so this question is about QuickBooks, but I want you to, um, to talk about it um, from other different products. So the, the question is, if you, if you already have a subscription with QuickBooks, how can you take advantage of the product pricing through TechSoup? So I'm sure you get that question a lot, Daphne, and I'm sure that people ask that not just about QuickBooks, but about Adobe uh, and other different products. So please, please share a little bit about that. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to speak specifically for the, the QuickBooks Online. That is the, the one that we get the most, uh, the most questions about. And um, actually as I'm starting to speak, I'm just going to see if I can. I'm going to bring up that, um, the QuickBooks Online page because that, that has some great information about, uh, about um, QuickBooks Online. So we do recognize that, that many organizations are, have already been using uh, QuickBooks Online. Um, Intuit is incredibly uh, supportive of us, and so people will call them and they say, oh, you're a nonprofit. Go talk to TechSoup. And so the answer is yes. And so give me a moment here. I'm just bringing up this, this page for you. And um, just to recap is that the question was whether, um, and so give me a moment here. I'm going to share my with you. Um, the question was, if you currently have a, a QuickBooks Online subscription, can you get a subscription through TechSoup? So the answer is yes. Um, and uh, like one of the, the, um, the, the, um, the benefits of this is this is $50 per year. So those of you who are paying monthly fees, this is a $50 per year. You, uh, you get it this year, and then, and then you would just renew next year. Now I do want to, for those of you who, are, who would be interested, I do want to point something out here because there is going to be a process. If you currently have um, a, a, an on, a, a QuickBooks Online, and so I'm just going to scroll down, and I'm going to highlight this. Hopefully you can see it, but I'll read it out to you. Um, so if your organization has obtained a QuickBooks Online subscription outside of TechSoup, these are the steps that, um, that Intuit has suggested. You need to export your data, cancel your existing subscription, request a product through TechSoup, activate it, rebuild your company file, and re-import your data. Now QuickBooks Online does offer support for this setup and the rebuild and the report, the, uh, and importing your data. Um, so it's a very long answer. So yes, if you have QuickBooks Online, you are, you are able to take advantage of this through, um, through TechSoup. Thank you again, uh, Daphne. And while you are sharing your screen and, and, and the product page, uh -huh. um, I have a question for you. So someone is asking uh, for us to talk about the Boost program. Okay, most certainly we'll do that. So our Boost program is a way of, of helping um, – and I'm actually – is a way of helping everybody find what they – whoops, I'm popping around is, – is a way for organizations. It's almost like a special membership. And what you're going to do is you are going to – and I believe – I'm just going to search down. I'm hoping that the boost is on this. Um, there we go. Let me find it. Um, and so what this is, it's a membership for your organization. And what this does is it gives you – here we go. So you see what I did is I ended up going product catalog and going down to Boost. What Boost is is for uh, an annual fee, you get access to even more discounted rates. Um, you get access to um, waived fees. So for example, let's say you are a small organization. Um, you're at a point where you just really need to beef up your software and maybe your hardware. So you, would, um, you might take I look at this. This is the, the subscription um, package for small organizations. When you get this, then you have access to waived administrative fees. 
special product discounts, unique offers, discounted training and consultation, a TechSoup voucher. Um, so this can just be a really great way to, to, kind of, um, to, to get more out of your TechSoup um, membership. Okay. Yeah, and it's a really great thing to take advantage of. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, and so I'm going to I'm going to go back up once again. This would be one of those that you would search by category and we have this lovely category donor and grants management. We are all very very um, as nonprofits, this is kind of what we, what we, um, you know, what we need to do to, to keep the lights on. And so um, let's see. And so on this first page, we have some of our donor management um, uh, products here. Um, each one of those you can click on. And then I'm going to go down to uh, grants management. Now we have been very um, lucky where we have uh, a wonderful relationship with, um, with a donor uh, called Grant Station. And uh, this is an online database that helps you do all the research you need to do to, to find those grants out there. They've done all the hard work. They've pulled all the data in. You can just go in. You, f you, you identify what your needs are, and you get to you get um, you get to those sources for for funding. Lots of great um, information about writing grants. Now, if you notice here, currently this administrative fee is two hundred and ninety nine dollars, which is a discounted rate. But um, two a uh, couple times a year, we do offer a promo. Um, we are coming. We will be coming up with a grant station promo um, where it will be ninety nine dollars for a one year membership, and that's something that's really really popular. Um, and that I believe is coming out in May. And what will happen is at that point, um, you'll be getting if you've signed up for those new product alerts, you'll start getting emails saying promotion coming. And, um, and we hope you take advantage of it. We have many, many um, organizations that are just thrilled with this product. Oh, thank you again, Daphne. And I apologize. I, I realized that my, my mic may have been um, turned off just a second ago, but I was just introducing Daphne, uh, giving her a question about GrantStation, which she just uh, explained very well. And I'm so glad that you brought up the uh, new product alerts because someone just asked, how do you sign up for new product alerts? Ah, okay. I can do that. So um, you would go um, back to the, um, your, the home page. Right? This is where your login is. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there is a sub subscribe to our newsletters. Just click on the subscribe. And so these are the options that we have. We have, um, we have a Buy the Cup, Tech News, and How To's. This comes out twice a month. This is a weekly product alert if you want to, to know what's coming in and when. And then we also have a special newsletter, TechSoup for Libraries. So uh, we encourage you to, to sign up for these um, so you can keep on top of what we have in, in our catalog. Thank you, Lashika. Mm -hmm. Sorry, another question that uh, I'm seeing is, is there a remote monitoring or managing software? Are you familiar with anything like that, Daphne? Okay, so if you create, it's a remote monitoring, and so that is, you know, that is one that I am actually not as would be as familiar with that kind of um, software. But this is where the categories can really come into um, can come into play. Um, and let me see if this is 
opening up with the categories. Um, and so one thing that, that you will learn that as you know, we have, I don't know how many different donor partners, I think we have almost 80. They're the ones that we become incredibly familiar with. They're the ones that, um, that, are, that we come up less frequently. This might be, might be one of those. Um, and so let's see. Remote monitoring and managing. So that almost sounds, sounds like a, a, a client relationship management program. Um, and to be honest, this is where um, this is where we would we would ask. Um, it's it's often easier if you if you have the name of a product. Um, like those of us who are at, um, you know, who answer the phone calls, we're actually not technically trained. We're trained to help you kind of navigate the website and do what you need to do. Um, but for this one, what I would say, and we often have to do this, is I would just say kind of poke around the categories. Many of you folks, especially those of you, we get um, IT tech support people calling us all the time who know far more about this than we do. Um, you know, pick a category, start uh, category, start poking around, and and hopefully you can find what what you need. Okay, thanks, thanks, Daphne. And I believe that um, if, and, and I'm not sure if um, if the, the person that asked the question are you referring to. I know that there is a Windows uh, Remote Desktop option that is available. Um, I'm not sure if that's what you are referring to. Um, if so, feel free to to chat a little bit more detail, mm -hmm. and we are happy to continue to look into that further for you. So there is a question, uh, though, Daphne. Okay. Uh, someone is asking, is there a limit on how many times a nonprofit can access donated products during a year? Okay, that is such that? a great question because this comes up all the time. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Adobe as an example. So each one of our, um, our donor partners sets their own eligibility and their own allotment. The allotment means how many you can get. Now, all except for one product, which I will talk about next, have fall under – or actually, I'm just, we're going to move Microsoft out of this, this conversation just because they run on a different schedule. But for example, um, the, so let's say you want to get something from Adobe. Um, whenever you need information about that eligibility restrictions, um, you would go to that, this information. Um, and so on this page, it says, um, so we run on a fiscal year, July 1st to June 30th. Within that year, you can have access to discounted rates for unlimited number of, of Creative Cloud, and up to four donated standalone products. That would be your Adobe Acrobat. Um, now part of the question that you are asking is, do you need to place all of these at the same time? No. You can do one today, one next week. You have a new person who comes on staff. Um, but once you hit, for example, once you hit that four donations of Adobe Standalone, then, uh, then uh, you'll be capped until the new fiscal year ends, or until the new fiscal year begins. Excuse me. Microsoft runs on a two-year cycle, and. Um, and I, I do want to specifically bring up one Microsoft product. Um, it is called um, Get Genuine. It's a Windows upgrade product. That one is the only one in our catalog that you can only order once ever. And I'm just going to just really, I'd love to just bring this up. Um, this is a this is a Windows operating system upgrade. And what it does is it brings you to – it corrects uh, an incorrect licensing situation. Perhaps you have um, a home or a home version, or even someone passed you on a disk at one point, and you've been using that, and, um, and uh, you're not quite sure if it's, if it's a valid license, if you're using Linux. Now with this one, the Get Genuine, this is a very specific product where, and I'm going to scroll down just to show you, eligible organizations may place only one request ever 
forget genuine products. This is the only one in our catalog is like that. So make sure when you look at the product page and you come to this. And so what we suggest people do is let's say you have three computers that were donated and they have Windows 7 Home. Um, when you place an order for this, we suggest think about your needs now. Kind of forecast what your needs will be like in the future. Um, and um, because once you place that order for the Get Genuine, that is it for the lifetime. For everything else, for the Adobe, um, uh, Symantec, Intuit, Zoner, any of those, it's, it's, it's run by the, um, the fiscal year. That's a great question though. Thanks. Okay, awesome. And, and to be clear, because I have a couple of follow-up questions, but to be clear, there is no limit on donations set by TechSoup. The limits uh, are coming from the particular partners. Is that correct? Exactly, right. So as a facilitator of these, um, as, of, of the donation programs, our partners, our donor partners set those, those, uh, those allotments, those restrictions. Um, yeah. So, and, um, so that's how that works. Yeah, good question. Okay, and so I have a question here about they, they want information on the cloud support. Can you talk a little bit more about the cloud support, the new service that now TechSoup is, is offering? And I think you, 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 kinda, you have a little bit more information um, mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I certainly can with that. Um, and so I am going to – sorry as I can see my, my mistyping here. Um, so any one of these like Office 365 product pages you see, and what I did is – and everybody finds their own way that they like to search in the catalog. I like to use the magnifying glass. There are other AMGs that like to use the, um, the product catalog. It all gets you to the same place. Um, I'm going to bring you to the Office uh, 365. And what you see here, um, the admin fee, $0 to $15 per user per month. When you click on this, um, this will bring you to that intake form that I talked a little bit about. Now just to explain, with, um, with, uh, um, with the cloud services, we do, we do a couple things. We do the back-end validation. Um, and then um, through our validation um, team that works upstairs next to us. And so part of the process is actually going through the Microsoft for non Nonprofit portal to register with them. And then once you're registered and you're approved, then you're able to access these different, um, these different cloud solutions. Now with this, this service team is, they're the ones that can, help, can walk you through that process and can help you with that. And so this is where you would fill out this information about what are you interested in? Maybe it's Office 365. Are you interested in Microsoft desktop software? Yes or no? Fill out the information. And then what we have is we have a team here. Um, you put your phone number when you would like to be called and you, you submit this form. Um, we're working on they, they try to get back to you within two to three business days, often is the, within the first day, and they'll start a conversation with you, just kind of helping you kind of go through this, this process here. But we're very excited about this service. Oh, thank you so much. I think we have time for one last question. I think it's a great question. But uh, someone is asking about uh, if we can talk about Box and what is Box. They've been hearing uh, about Box and that they may need it. So, okay, very good. And so once again, as you can see, I'm just using my little magnifying glass. Type in Box. Box is a really popular program. Um, and so we have, um, we'll start here. We have a, for example, a box. Um, this is what they call it their little starter kit. Um, and let me just let that open up. Might need to click on it again. Okay. Um, and so you see with this one you get 10 user licenses. And as I said, we try to put as much information into the product page. So what Box is, it's an online file sharing content management and collaboration service for small teams of up to 10 people. 
Um, now this donation provides 10 perpetual user licenses, and they do not expire or need to be renewed. So you can, if you can get your your um, your team set up, um, you can use Box to speed up collaboration, manage programs. Ooh, and this is always the popular one: streamline funding development. Um, and manage geographically dispersed staff. We often have organizations and, and they have their IT person in one, sa one state and their accountant in another state. Um, you see so what, they, um, what they provide are file sharing, desktop sync, collaboration, security. Um, and then I just want to point out because I realized I didn't comment on this when we were talking about the other products. The very bottom of each of these product pages is obtaining this product. Because sometimes you, you put in the order and then you're, then you're wondering like, well, well, what now? There will always be instructions. So for this one, what happens is when your donation request is approved and processed, you will get an email to your organization email with the instructions for obtaining and activating. And then as Lashika pointed out, um, you can always go down to the bottom, look at uh, related articles and webinars to get some more information to see if this is something that, 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 um, that could benefit your organization. Thank you so much for uh, for explaining that, and I hope that um, that has that answers your question about uh, about Box. Uh, feel free to chat out um, another question if that was not clear. Um, another thing that we want to do, I just want to wrap up uh, and thank you again, Daphne, so much for um, providing uh, the information, and thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Seema, on the back end, answering all of those questions. Really appreciate your help. And it looks like we may be giving you back some time in your day. That's always exciting. Uh, but before you go, please, please let us know, is there something that you learned today? Is there something that your organization can and will implement today? Or if not today, maybe, maybe this week, right, or this month, or for the year end. Like, tell us one thing. Just share. We, we love to know. We'd love to know. And also, uh, let us know what it, what it is that you want to, what you want the next tour to be about. Are there other questions that you have or other people in your team have, and you, you need answers? And we, we want to provide those answers. So immediately after the webinar, you will see a post-event survey. And we'd be so happy if you mm -hmm. complete that because that's how we know uh, what content to provide. And, and that's how we know that this information um, is effective. And uh, also I, I do want to let you know that you will um, get that handout of all of the links. So if, if it, the information was coming fast and you weren't able to jot down all of those links, rest assured it, it's going to come in a nice little handout for you um, later on today. And so um, also upcoming webinars, we have a lot coming up, uh, and we're so excited. So on May 1st, do you know why nonprofits should be using online surveying? After I just asked you to complete that survey, do you know why? Well, please be sure to jo join us on May 1st so that you can understand the importance of online surveys and get some best practices and tips uh, on online surveying. And so then a week after that, we've been talking about just the season for year end, and so we are bringing you Grant Station. Get to know Grant Station. Find out what it is and how it can help you. And Daphne, she mentioned uh, a promo that's coming up, and those dates will be released very soon. Uh, so make sure that you uh, check your email box and sign up to attend that webinar on May 8th. And then on May 10th, the golden key to successful grant request. What is that golden key? Are there more than one? Well, you have to be there to find out. And we look so forward to, to having you join join us again. And for other webinars, um, we have the link here on the screen. It will be emailed to you. But I want to tell you one last thing. 
so on the page for webinars, that's also where our webinars are archived. So if you want to find, if you want to listen to a, a webinar that we did last week or last month, you can find that at, at the same place, okay? So again, thank you so much everyone for participating in our TechSoup tour. Tech soup tour. So excited, tongue twisted. <laughs> thank you so much. Again, we're social and we hope you are too. Please connect with us. Um, and again, thank you ReadyTalk for making this possible for us to be able to connect with organizations around the world. Um, have a great day everyone. Thank you.